Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 17 of this video series. So before proceeding, please watch part 16 in order to delete data using bootstrap model and jQuery in a proper way. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about what is partial view in an ASP.NET MVC application and how do we use it. Okay, so the partial view is the reusable view. It can reduce duplication of view content and allow view element to be reused. For example, if you want to show the list of employee on every web page of your web application. Okay, so you just need to put that content into partial view and call that partial view on every web page. Okay, so here you are just uh, not only increasing the reusability but also optimizing your code. Okay, so the partial view also have .chhtml extension. So here we have three uh, extension method which will help you to call the partial view. So the first one is html.partial. So you can uh, just pass the partial view name and object, any object. So you can pass any object or view model or uh, custom view data inside this partial. Okay, so if I come to the second point, the HTML dot render partial. Okay, so here also you can pass uh, partial view name and any parameter. Okay, so the first parameter in, in all three methods uh, should be necessary and rest are optional field. Okay, so uh, if you come to three, uh, if you can uh, come to the third part, then this is HTML dot render action. Okay, so you just need to pass the uh, method name. Okay, and you just don't need to uh, put that controller name uh, if you are using if you are calling that partial from same controller. Okay, so here we will discuss each and everything uh, practically. So let's move to the uh, Visual Studio. So in the previous video, I uh, I had just created this uh, table uh, which is showing the list of employee uh, which have the delete option. Okay, so let's have the view of it. When I click on this, it will show me this pop up. Okay. So here, uh, if you notice that uh, in the shared folder, uh, the Visual Studio has already created a partial view that is login partial. Okay, so it has some HTML content. Okay, and if uh, this is my controller. Okay, so if my uh, if uh, one thing is to be noticeable uh, that uh, uh, when you add a controller okay Th uh, with some name then automatically in the view folder uh, uh, one one folder is created okay with the same controller name test and test okay so inside whenever you add your uh, index means uh, when you uh, whenever you add a view then it will be added to same directory means in the test folder it will be added okay so I will just call it uh, uh, the current directory okay so let's call the partial view so right now I am going to call this login partial uh, and uh, onto this my uh, or this page can be called as a parent page okay so so write HTML dot partial okay now you can see the extension method so uh, sorry overloaded method so it has uh, four overloaded method you can see so you can pass the uh, only partial view name in the second uh, you can pass partial view name in any model okay so here you can see the rest parameter are optional okay so just pass the partial view name so what is my partial view name in shared folder that is login partial login partial okay so uh, uh, one thing is uh, very important uh, 
to keep in mind that uh, when I pass the name of uh, partial view then it will first search into the same uh, into the current directory that is it will search into the test folder okay and if it does not find then it will go to the share folder and find it okay so this should be remember okay so let's run this application and let's see what's gonna happen so here you go you can see your partial view here okay so now go to view and here uh, instead of name you can uh, you can give the proper path also okay so here the uh, my f uh, my file is present in inside the shared folder and it has uh, it is present in the views okay so let's give the proper path so views slash uh, shared slash this and I need to provide its extension so C S H T M L okay now refresh this okay so you can get the same same partial view here okay so now just copy it and paste it and just see the difference so in both case I will I will get the same list okay so one for okay so one for this this path and one for this name okay so I can pass uh, either the file name or the actual path okay so now I'm going to use the second extension method that is HTML dot render partial okay so using a render partial uh, you just need to put it in, into the curly braces okay so HTML dot render partial and again it requires the uh, partial view name okay and it also has the four uh, three overloaded mes method okay so total four overloaded method so just pass the this name okay and let's comment this code so using render partial I'm going to uh, load this partial view onto my parent page or else uh, you uh, you can pass the model also so if you want to uh, pass the data to this partial view and uh, use uh, you can use it into uh, your view in any any case okay so let's pass this and ref refresh this okay so you can get this with the same method uh, with the different method that is HTML dot render partial okay so now the third is uh, third extension method is HTML dot render action okay so it must be placed in the curly braces okay so you can write your code here so HTML dot render action okay so here it needs uh, it has a s uh, five over uh, total six overloaded method so first parameter is to pass the method name okay so it will just call the controller and if you put a comma then you can see the you can pass your model so suppose I have just passed the model okay and if I put one more comma then action name and controller name and then model okay so I can just put the controller name inside this 
okay so this should be your controller name yeah okay okay so uh, because I'm working in the same controller so I don't need to pass this controller name okay so I can directly pass the other parameter and just I need to pass the method name okay so let's show partial so I will just create this method inside my controller okay so just copy this and Oh, just to stop it and just drag it here okay so just name it show partial okay and you just delete all the things okay and here you can return the partial view so partial partial view okay so inside the partial view you just uh, y uh, you just need to pass the partial view name so underscore layout layout partial is your name partial okay and secondly if you put the comma then you can see you can pass the object model okay so I'm just calling this method here and I'll just comment it control KC and put a breakpoint here okay and run this application so when my parent page will be loaded uh, it it will call the partial view uh, it will call the partial view and uh, let's see so here you go so it it just called this method and it will just return this this partial view okay so this is my parent view and here I can see uh, my this this and this login uh, uh, you can see this element uh, sh should be displayed uh, above this table okay so now the continue okay so I got some error so you can just uh, see the uh, so error executing child request handler so there may be some mistake oh, okay so here I have just passed the model okay and in my controller you can see okay so now continue this and let's see now you just need to reload it okay now continue this now again I got some error maybe I have not show partial render action I have just used this okay show partial and it's returning a partial view with this name layout partial so name is okay oh sorry sorry I did one mistake oh, I should uh, use the login partial instead so if the name of partial uh, if you uh, put a wrong name then it will it's not going to load your okay so here you go and if the if you don't find the uh, if you don't write the uh, correct name of the partial then you will not be uh, you uh, you will be not be redirecting to this partial view okay so let's see okay 
so here you can see so in this way you can call your partial view okay so you can also add your own partial view here so just stop it and inside the test folder or uh, you can say go to the controller and add a view okay so let's see this is partial one okay so add it so you can see I have added this and inside the partial one met, uh, file uh, I will just add this div with class let's say jumbotron okay and I will just call h1 okay so I am in partial one okay now let's make it three okay and now I will just call just close it and here I will just call my partial one partial one okay so instead of uh, calling the share uh, the file which is present in the share folder I am just calling that file which is present in the current directory okay so current folder so okay and just go to the controller and uh, just right here partial one okay and save it okay so just cut it and uh, just pa try to paste it here control k u and So from the first method and just provide the first partial view which is present in my test folder okay and the third one is just delete this tab and and here you just need to pass your method name not the partial view name okay so just pass this okay so I have my three partial view so using partial or oh, you can use render partial render partial and just you can use this and put a semicolon control KD okay so all the all three method you can see okay now run this application you will see three div contained okay let's see whether we are getting any error or not my HTML dot render partial uh, render action has called this method okay now continue this so hope we will have three div I'm in partial one I'm in partial one and I am in partial one okay so in this way you can call your partial view so partial view is the very important feature you should understand it okay and it's very 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 simple okay so in the next uh, tutorial we will discuss about how can you call this partial view using jQuery okay so I'm done here if you like my videos then give a thumbs up and if you have any problem then please comment uh, and uh, do share my videos okay thank you very much have a great day